Mr. Shitstorm. How are you doing tonight? Thank you. I'm doing well, and I appreciate you uh, speaking to me on this very prestigious evening where we've premiered hashtag Shakespeare's Shitstorm at the Museum of the Moving Image. Well, this is great. I mean, the crowd is insane. Uh, we're, we're sort of back to normal. I mean, what's that feel like after coming out of COVID to, to, to some kind of normalcy here? Honestly, this has been uh, uh, humongously cathartic. We've been watching this movie on, uh, I don't know, computer screens and television screens for about three or four years. And this is the first time that I got to see the movie in a big screen with the sound and all that stuff and to see it with a bunch of people and the laughter. And it's just a different experience. I mean, this is a communal movie uh, and it played really well. I mean, all the jokes that we wanted to hit, hit, all the gags hit and it was just, it was unbelievable. So I feel like, you know, post pandemic, this is the movie that you have to see in a theater. Well, it's also very ahead of the curve. Like so, uh, you know, it was uh, it was weird. It was like this sort of predicted some turmoil and things that had uh, not happened in 2018 that then later on happened in the years uh, that followed. And I think that the movie is more relevant now than it ever was. And uh, the movie definitely doesn't have an air of trying to split people apart. It's all about trying to bring people together. And Lloyd's message essentially for one of the themes is that if we all work together as the human race, that we'll get to a better place. Yeah, and I, I think, I really do think um, that um, basically society is catching up. Like it's, I think it's gonna come out in sort of the perfect way. Like it's kind of amazing. I hope it hits and I hope, uh, you know, there's some people who might get offended in things uh, by some jokes, but you know what? You can't please everybody all the time. Thank you for having me. This was absolutely a pleasure. And I just want to say quickly that I owe it all to Lloyd Kaufman, who gave me a shot to uh, produce this movie. This was uh, the second movie that I ever produced, second feature. And uh, it's invaluable. I mean, tr the trauma system works. There's, there's an old infomercial from the 90s called The Trauma System. And the, the, the thing that they say throughout is, the trauma system worked for me. And for me, in my life, that absolutely is true. The tra trauma system worked for me. One, one last thought. Do you think? Do you think there is anything else like trauma in regard to a minor league of in, a creating independent uh, film directors? Um, you know, I think that there were, and I think that a lot of them are not there uh, much longer. Lloyd is one of the, uh, and Lloyd and Trauma and Michael Herz are some of the only last truly independent people standing. Um, not many people have done what Lloyd and Michael Herz and Troma have done over the course of 50 years now. And it's hard to deny. Um, they never really sold out. I mean, selling out is one thing, but they never really were uh, betrayed their own hearts is what I'm trying to say. And they made movies the way that they wanted to make them. And they made movies that they wanted to see. Uh, and a lot of people give that up in order for, to get a, uh, you know, glory or a paycheck or something. So they've always been true to themselves. And uh, I respect that about Truman. I hope it keeps going. I hope that Lloyd and Michael can keep it going for the next younger generation and, and get those people inspired and get the next, like Lloyd says, the next James Guns and things like that out there. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, man. Thanks so much. Thank you.